we have a gentleman here tonight that's going to share a testimony. When Ron Rudman shared his testimony at the Joyce Meyer Conference in Denver, Colorado, he talked about his experience of the first time he saw one of Joyce's books. And it was clear that this was going to be a unique story, to say the least. And I looked at your picture on the cover of the book, and I'm sorry, I can't look you in the eye and tell you this, but I, I looked at your picture and I thought, what a hick. That is just too funny. <laughs> As if that moment wasn't unique enough, it was everything that happened in his life up to that point that makes this story truly amazing. I was raised as a young Jew in the 1960s in the New York metropolitan area. I was raised in a reformed Jewish congregation and I, I was born into the first post-war generation of survivors of the Holocaust. I was bar mitzvahed at the age of 13 and I memorized a portion of the Torah. I had no idea what the words meant. No one even gave me an English translation. It was all form and no substance. I felt as if I knew who God was, but I had no way to find him. I, uh, I tried Eastern religion for a while. I tried Buddhism. I, I tried transcendental meditation. I majored in philosophy in college, thinking that, well, there's got to be some human knowledge. You know, these guys like Plato and Socrates and Aristotle, they must have really found some foundational truths that would tell me how to, how to know who I was. It was an empty search. Ron didn't spend all of his time searching for God. In the fall of 1977, he found his soulmate, Martha. The couple settled down and eventually had two kids, Ben and Claire. The Rudmans were a happy family, yet there was a deep sense that there was still something missing. In December 2005, I was shopping for a Christmas present for my wife, and the store was very crowded because it was the holidays, and I knocked over a display table. So I picked up the books that I'd knocked over, the very last book that I picked up, it said Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. I had a dismissive attitude and I went to put the book back down on the table, but for some reason, uh, I picked it back up. And I opened it to the middle, and the first words that I read were, the reason that you picked up this book is because the God who created you desires an intimate, personal relationship with you. I bought the book and I brought it home. I hid it from my family because I didn't want them to see me reading it. I didn't want them to think that I had bought a, a Christian book and was giving this any credibility at all. And, uh, but I kept reading the book. And uh, in the book, Joyce Meyer quotes from the Amplified Bible. And I, I didn't own a Bible. So I went out and I bought an Amplified Bible and I brought that home and I hid that too. And then one afternoon, I walked into our bedroom and my wife was reading a Bible. She said, oh, I, I didn't want you to see this. You know, she'd been hiding it from me. When Ron realized I was reading the Bible, he felt safe to show me the Joyce Meyer book. And I would read passages to him from the Bible and say, look, in the Old Testament, it says the same thing as the New Testament. And he would read me something that Joyce would say, and it would all blend together like, like cake batter. It was just a beautiful blend of the, of the truth. As Ron and Martha soon came to know that truth, it was easy to introduce their children to Jesus as well. Ben and Claire also gave their hearts to Christ. And just one year after Ron knocked over that stack of books, the entire Rudman family had come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior. It's unusual, I know, for a whole family to get saved like this, but for us, it's like God said, Rudman, party of four, right this way. My family and I are richly blessed with the truth now. Once you have the truth, it'll set you free, like the book says.